Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to update a few apps on your iPhone, iPad of Touch. All right, so whichever I device you guys have, it's the same way actually. So let's just go straight into your App Store. Under your App Store, you guys will see down here below the fourth option where it says updates. So you guys should see the updates right here. As you can see here's Facebook, so let's just tap on update Facebook. Then we can tap on update LinkedIn, update Spotify, update Twitter, Instagram, and Netflix plus Pinterest. And a little bit below we have eBay, YouTube, and Snapchat. So they're updating at this point. If you guys don't have an update here listed, you guys might see this, all right? Updated recently. That means they're up to date up to whatever iOS you guys have. So let's say you guys are stuck back in iOS 9 or something like that. There's only so many updates that your Facebook app will take under iOS 9. All right. And uh, for the rest of you who are in iOS 11 or 12 right now, um, again, Facebook could continuously be making updates and so will all these other apps. So just keep that going. Um, as I always tell you guys, do not have auto updates turned on and that's because sometimes there's glitches and you guys do not want to update. Plus, if you update at your own time, that's the best way to do it, all right? So you know you're not gonna use your iPhone, iPad, or iPad Touch and that's when you want to update it. Plus, you want some good Wi-Fi, right? Not to take up your 3G or your data. You guys can always choose that in your settings anyways. So let's say you guys want to update and you can't for some reason. Or let's say you guys are watching this because for some reason you guys can't even download Facebook or Twitter um, or any social media on your iPhone because it's an older version of iPhone. So an iPhone 4 or an iPhone even 5. Well, I do have a separate video for that. Okay, that shows you how to download older versions of those apps so they work with your phone. Um, and again, those apps can only update until a certain point and that's about it. Okay. Um, so I'm going to play that video right now for the rest of you who want to see that. Okay. I'll download these apps on all older iPhones and same goes with iPads or iPod touches. Um, and that's it for this video. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you can write them down here in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you. Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to download Facebook and other apps that you want and every single app that you want for your iPhone 3GS, 4 or iPad 1. As you know, you're stuck on a certain iOS and these apps are requiring a higher iOS, iOS 8 or 7 and you guys are maybe stuck at iOS 4, 5, 6 and uh, this is the way to get around that. Anyways. Uh, first of all, you guys need to download iTunes. iTunes is free. You can download for free on Apple.com. Okay, it's free for Mac and free for PC. On your Mac, you should have it installed actually already. Anyways, once you open your iTunes, you're gonna see this. You're gonna see my music and all that stuff. Um, what we guys want to do is click here, where it says little three little things right here, three little dots. Go into apps. Under apps, just go into App Store. Okay, that's up here. Okay, just click on App Store, and then you're gonna look for that that you want to download. So let's say you want guys want to download Facebook. So let's just type in Facebook up here. At this point, I'm already signed into my Pro I I iCloud, which is the same thing that you guys want to do. Um, so I already have that downloaded for. But for example, I didn't download this one that says 2048. I'm gonna download that for now, and uh, all you guys have to do is exact same thing. So just press on Get. And it's gonna start downloading. Now, remember, you don't need to connect your iPhone to this iTunes or anything like that. We just want to be on the same Apple ID. Uh, once you guys press get, it might ask you for your Apple ID, so make sure to put the same one that you have on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. And uh, if you need to create one, create it at that moment. So once you press get, it's gonna ask you to create or put in the Apple ID that you already have. So make sure it's the same one that you use on your iDevices. Once you do that, we're gonna head on to our next step. My iPhone 3GS is on iOS 5 and the 3G is, is stuck on iOS 4, okay? So this will work for any 4.2.1 uh, or just 4, um, same thing for 5.1.1. Uh, this is the 3GS, so I'll show you the 3GS first. So we're going to go into the App Store icon, okay? From here, we're going to have to um, sign into your iCloud. 
and your if you don't have iCloud don't worry it's the same thing as your app ID so just sign in there so just tap on future scroll all the way down so I'm just gonna do that again okay and then you're gonna see your app ID if you don't see it just put sign in okay and sign in just put your email address which is your app ID plus your password that you already set up anyways once we're in here just tap in your um, updates okay on updates what you're gonna see first is this something empty since you have no apps to be updated or you might see one or two but anyways we have to tap on purchase on purchase we're gonna see all the apps that you downloaded already on iTunes okay and from here you see that cloud thing it means that you these are all the ones that you downloaded already and as you know you downloaded them on your iTunes on your computer already so you can tap on any of them not all will work on your iPhone but most of the basic ones will okay so I'm just gonna look for any of these just to download it so you guys can see um, there's Facebook okay so I'm gonna download it into my 3GS so just by tapping on the cloud it's gonna ask you for your password again so just put in your password and then it'll give you this message that you can't because it's 6.0 but it'll do it um, and it'll look for a version that's compatible with your phone so you just tap on download and it's gonna download okay this might take forever in the start okay because iTunes has to look back at other versions um, of Facebook that will work for your phone so that's it it's that easy um, you just have to do it from there you can also do it from your friends um, iPhone as well if you, if you have a friend that has a newer phone you can do it from there um, but anyways I'll get into that a little bit later so that's for your 3GS it's kind of the same thing as you can see it's downloading already it might take with yours a little bit longer don't worry about it you can do several at a time this is my iPhone 3G it's on iOS 4 okay um, you do not need jailbreak for this just in case so don't mind the Syria thing icon there it has nothing to do with this so we're gonna go into your app store on your iPhone 3G it's gonna work a little bit different and you could say a little bit easier um, it's also gonna work a little bit slower since uh, from 3G does take forever uh, to just download all the content so don't mind the Spanish thing right there it's saying cargando means downloading I just had it set up in Spanish so uh, there you will see it says updates okay so there are no updates so it's not the same thing you have to go into search okay once you're in search there is where you're gonna look for what you want okay so in this case I already looked for Facebook and I downloaded it this time I'm gonna look for Twitter just to show you it's another example so there's Twitter oh wrong one okay there we go <laughs> Twitter the first option so once again we're just gonna download it and you're gonna see the same message telling you that it's not compatible but it will look for a version that's compatible with your phone well, if you have a 3G you can't um, it's better if you just leave the store open uh, if you minimize it it's not really minimized you're kinda closing it so that way it'll take longer it'll disconnect and connect again and you might get a little error message which is not a real error it's just not connecting to the app store so right now we're just gonna click on install password again okay there you go so just click on download as you can see it's giving me the exact same message so just download um, older version of the app there we go okay right now it's just telling me that it couldn't connect to the app store that's because I, I closed the app store so I just have to open it again or just leave it there it will download okay with 3G since it doesn't have multitask that's why it takes a little bit longer but anyways besides that um, what I said about your friend's phone what you can do is borrow your friend's phone sign sign out from his um, iTunes okay in his app store just sign out and sign into yours or create one okay and then download all the stuff that you want okay uh, once you download it all you can erase it from your friend's phone then go back to your phone go into app store and just do the exact same thing that I did here if you don't want to do it from your computer anyways if this was any help if you guys have any comments questions just write down here below and don't forget to subscribe and rate really appreciate it all right guys once again any comments here below see ya